गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ ओम प्रकाश कर फैकल्टी ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम बी आई टी नाव आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द बेसिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट पैटर्न एंड पैटर्न मेटल्स इट इज द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ बेसिक मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस ओके सो लेट मी गो फर्स्ट विदाउट अ पैटर्न यू नो दैट to create a mold cavity for manufacturing in uh, um, casting department we need a mold cavity so this is the basic part of manufacturing process so how we create a mold with the help of pattern so let me first explain the basic manufacturing process in casting in automobile company in casting okay so what happened actually through the sprue this i can i can draw the figure of a basic manufacturing process this is the mold cavity this is the sprue this is runner and this is gate the small this is the gate so through this sprue molten metal enters through this sprue molten metal molten metal enters and through the runner and finally through the gate it enters the mold cavity so this is the basic fundamental of uh, casting process so to create a mold cavity we need to know the pattern because with the help of pattern we create a cavity in the sand mold basically basically we will be discussing about sand mold okay so so first let us talk about pattern so it is the replica of the object to be made replica means duplicate it is the replica of the object i mean the contour the original object has it has the duplicate or it is the duplicate of that original object okay so this is the pattern also some allowances allowances are given to the original shape suppose we have to made we have to make a casting of 5 cm or length suppose a casting of 5 cm length is 5 cm so pattern is somewhat more than that we have we have added some allowances in the original dimension of 5 cm because we have to do machining operation we have to do um, we have to also consider for shrinkage allowance we know that metal shrinks while it while it is uh, made solidified um, some diamonds some metal shrinks so we have to give allowances for that there are many allowances we will discuss it, discuss it later discuss it later okay so so material for pattern is i can write the material for the pattern wood we can take metals also we can take cast iron we can take as the material or the plastic we can use this is the material for the pattern now we come to the exact uh, we come to the subject of pattern how many types of pattern and what are the utilities of it so i'll go to the types of pattern types of so in the types of pattern let me first introduce the single piece pattern what is that single piece pattern because we are making a mold cavity in a sand bed so withdrawing is a problem because pattern is inside the mold and when you we have to withdraw the pattern from the mold in that time in that instant some of the mold, some of the sand particle will be broken and fall into the mold cavity and spoil the casting so in that case we have different types of patterns 
with their advantages and disadvantages. So for, I will first discuss about uh, single piece pattern. Okay. So first I will go to single piece. So what is the single piece pattern? Now it is the simplest type of pattern. Withdrawing from the bread, withdrawing from the mold cavity is not a problem. So in the simple shape, I can I can take this is a single piece pattern. This shape you can create. This is a pattern made of wood. You can create a cavity in the sand sand bed and also with, you can easily withdraw. So this is the single piece pattern. Then comes the split pattern. So what is that split pattern? When the height of the pattern is more, then withdrawing the pattern from the mold is somewhat difficult because there is a chance of mold breakage and that broken part of the sand bed will fall on the mold cavity. So in that case, we cannot take, take, take it as a single piece. What we'll do, we'll split it. We'll sp split the pattern into two pieces. Upper one is called the cope, and the lower and lower one is called the drag. So what we do, like suppose I give an example of a spear. It cannot be a cavity of the spear cannot be made with a single piece pattern because withdrawing the single that if we make it a single piece, withdrawing it from the from the sand bed is difficult. It will break the mold mold walls actually made up of sand. Okay. So what we do? We split it, upper half and lower half, and do the molding separately. This is called split pattern. Then I come to the gated pattern. Okay, so I go to the next slide. Gated pattern. So you must be wondering. Why I said gated pattern? Why the word gated? Because in the casting, when I do mathematical explanation, uh, there is a term gating system design. What is that gating system? Starting from the sprue, runner and gate, total is called gating system. As a whole, it is called a gating system. Okay. So what happened in the gated pattern? It is the simple modification of a single piece pattern. What is in the single piece? If we add the runner and gate, it will be called gated pattern only. In the single piece pattern, you know I already discussed, only add the getting system in that is called the gated pattern. So I hope you understood what is gated pattern. Then I go to cope and drag pattern. Cope and drag pattern. So then is the cope and drag pattern. So what is that cope and drag pattern? It is the modification of split pattern. You know that split in the split pattern, there are two pieces. One is upper half. In case of spear, I saw, uh, uh, I said you in case of spear, we have to make it two pieces for more, one mold cavity. Okay. So what we do in the cope and drag pattern, the pattern is in two pieces, but with getting and risering system. And now I tell what is riser? You know, um, uh, actually what happened, th there is a provision of riser in the pattern plate because uh, the molten metal when it comes through the getting system enter the mold cavity also it fills the riser. What is the utility of riser? Because during solidification also metal shrinks in the mold cavity volumetrically. At that time the extra metal needed will be supplied by that riser which is side to it. The riser is always side to the mold cavity. Sometimes it is up upon the mold cavity. That its name is riser. If any extra metal is molten metal is required, then extra molten metal will come from the riser to the mold. It is a back flow. So I can show you what is riser. This is the mold cavity.
this is the gate, this is the runner, this is the sprue, here is the riser, this is called the riser. In the time of need, the extra metal flows from the riser towards the mold cavity. This is the function of riser. So in the cope and drag pattern, we use different pieces. One upper pattern is split into two parts. One upper part, one lower part with the getting and risering system. Also to align the two plate, there is alignment pin also. I can show you with the figure. This is, this is the pattern plate. Also the main thing is that here, here the pattern is attached to a pattern plate, square plate or rectangular plate. You can, you can see here, the, this is the pattern, upper half of the pattern attached to the pattern plate. This is the pattern plate or match pattern, pattern plate. This one is the pattern. Similarly, for lower half, it is also attached to a pattern plate. It is the lower half. Upper half is called the cope. It is called cope. And lower half is called the drag. Okay. They both, the cope and the drag, it attaches to the pattern plate. This is not the case in case of split pattern. In split pattern, the pattern is divided into two half, cope and drag, but it is not attached to a pattern plate. But in the, especially in the cope and drag pattern, the patterns are attached to the pattern plate. Maybe wooden, maybe metal, but it is attached to the pattern plate. Okay. So cope and after that, so we have discussed about cope, uh, uh, cope and drag pattern plate. Then we go to match plate pattern. So what is that match plate pattern? It is also a similar kind. We, we take two plates, one for cope, match plate. We take one wooden plate for cope pattern. We take one wooden plate for drag pattern. So there are two plates. Before that we are using two plates. But in, in case of match plate pattern, in single plate, above it is the cope, cope. Below it is the drag with the getting and risering system. This is the only difference. So I can make the figure for it. This is a single plate. No two plates. Match one single plate. And above it, the cope one. And below is the drag one. Below is the drag one. Okay. So this is the match plate pattern. After that, we'll go to the follow board pattern. Okay. Next is the follow board pattern. So in the follow board pattern, when the pattern, the contour of the pattern is such that it will be, it is not tolerable to the ramming pressure of the sand. It is the, the design is such that it, it, you can assume that it is structurally weak. Like the one contour I draw, if this is the board, match plate board, the pattern is like this, oh, like this. So this is the weakest one, structurally weak. We, we have to uh, give it a support. So the board have to extend to match with the contour. Bo we have to extend the board. Okay. So this, this design, e design is called the follow board pattern. Then we, then we uh, learn about loose piece pattern. What is that loose piece pattern? 
लूज पीस पैटर्न सो देर आर सम कंटूर्स विच इज एब्सोल्युटली डिफिकल्ट टू यूज इन सैंड मोल्ड बिकॉज देर आर सम सेफ्स यू कैन नॉट विड्रॉ इट डेफिनेटली इट विल ब्रेक द सैंड मोल्ड सैंड बेड मोल्ड मीन सैंड सैंड बेड डेफिनेटली सो व्हाट वी डू द ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिंग पार्ट वी मेक इज अ सेकेंड पीस फर्स्ट टू विड्रॉ द मेन पीस then we remove the second piece that second piece is attached to the main piece with a wear so it is a very skilled work and we need a very skilled worker to do this to create the cavity so i can you can imagine the shape i will draw this is the pattern suppose suppose this is the pattern it can be easily withdrawn but after that i will make a pattern like this so it is very difficult to withdraw this pattern from the sand bed so what we do first initially from the bed we remove the remove the first pattern after that second pattern this is the loose piece this this one is called the loose piece second pattern or the loose piece loose piece okay so this is your loose piece pattern then we then after that we will go to the sweep pattern so what is that sweep pattern in the sweep pattern for, it is used for symmetrical shape casting we have to create a cavity which is symmetrical so we only deal with the one side of one side of the contour what we do the castings which are axis symmetrical in that case we use the like the example is bell shape pattern so what we do we only take the one side contour of the one side okay we sweep it around the mold sand mold and create the whole 3d object understood so the this pattern plate has the contour of the casting to be made but only one piece we do we deal with the one side we rotate it around this axis in the sand bed and we get the entire 3d pattern this is the sweep pattern okay after that we will go to the skeleton pattern okay then is called the skeleton pattern so what is this skeleton pattern so as the name it is it explains its work you know for very large casting the size is very big in that case we use the skeleton pattern skeleton pattern what you do in that case only we take the strips of wood wood and make the skeleton of it not not the whole thing is made up of wood or pattern material only the skeleton of it okay suppose a big casting is there i will take the skeleton of it strips of wood and make the skeleton of it okay like this skeleton of it and in between we fill the sand and label it this is called skeleton pattern i hope all the patterns i have explained in front of in front of you and uh, and i hope that you understood well Uh, about the pattern materials and the types of patterns thank you